my daughters, since now we will divest us both of rule, interest of territory, cares of state. Which of you, shall we say, doth love us most, that we our largest bound to my extent, for nature doth with merit challenge? Gondrel, our eldest born, speak first. Sir, I love you more than words can put the matter. Dearer than eyesight, space and liberty. Beyond what can be valued, reach our act, no less than life, with grace, how beauty ornament, as much as child ever loved, or father found. A love that makes her poor and speech enable. Beyond all memory, of so much I love. What shall Cadelia do? Love and be silent. Of all these bounds, even from this line to this, with shadowy forests and with champagnes rich, with plenteous rivers and wide skirted meads, we make the way to the thin and big Albany's issue, make this perpetual. What says our second daughter, our dearest Regan, by to Cornwall? Speak. Sure. I made of the self same metal that my sister is, and prize me at her worth. In my true heart I find she names my very deed of love, only she comes too short. That I profess myself an enemy to all other joys, which the most precious queer of sense possesses, and find I am alone to be shaped in your dear highness love. Then poor Cardelia, I'm yet no so seen some sure. My love's more richer than my tongue. To thee and thee, touched forever, remain this ample thought of our fair kingdom, no less in space, validity, and pleasure than that conferred on Gangrel. Now our joy, although the last not least, to whose young love, the vines of France and milk of Bajandry strive to be interest. What can you say to draw a third more open than your sisters? Speak. Nothing, my lord. <laughs> nothing? Nothing. Nothing will come of nothing. Speak again. Unhappy that I am, I cannot help. My heart is on my mouth. I love your majesty. I call him to my boat. No more, no less. How? How, Cardelia, mend your speech a little, lest it may mar your fortune. My lord, you have begun, me, read me, loved me, I return this duties back as I repeat. I obey you, love you, and most honor you. For sure, my sister's husband, see if they say they love you all. Happily, when I show that, the Lord, this hand must take my pride, show care of me. How of my love of you, how of my care and duty. Sure, I shall never marry like my sisters to love my father all. And goes through hard mysteries? I good, my lord. So young and so untender. So young, my lord, and true. Let it be so. Here I declaim all my paternal care, perfectly and properly of blood. And as a stranger to my heart and me, hold thee from this forever. The jewels of our father, we wish thy Cardelia leaves you. I know you what you are. Use well, our father. To you for his bosoms, I commit him. But yet, alas, to die within his grace, I will prefer him to a better place. So farewell to you both. Prescribe not us our duties. We have a deed scanted, and well aware the one that you have wanted. I'm sure one holds what play fun in hides, who got the holes at last shandown derives. Well may you prosper.